you are about to see a young lady chemical engineer who is going hammer and tongs in trying to address the menace of industrial and environmental pollution by coming up with some novel chemical techniques. Let us go over to her and find out her mysterious chemistry. Modern chemistry has made life more exciting, colorful and comfortable but not without doing considerable damage to the environment. The Indian chemical industry is facing tremendous challenges in making its process technologies eco-friendly, globally competitive and clean. Hyderabad based Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, a chemical engineer, Dr. Satyavati, is all set to create history when, for the first time in the world, she and her team shall be coming up with a unique dual active enviro catalyst that can chop, chew, and digest toxic substances at the manufacturing stage itself. I have been assigned with the process development work for the mononitrotoluenes project to overcome the engineering challenges in making the process a commercial success. And once we do so, we would be the first ones to achieve that. Earlier, catalysts were confined only to petroleum products. Now, their use is spreading to bulk chemicals, fine chemicals and performance chemicals. Conventionally, liquid sulfuric acid though highly dangerous by way of handling and transporting, is being widely used in the nitration of aromatic compounds such as toluene and benzene. It's the fact that these compounds are otherwise broken down to bare bones by the deadly fuming notorious sulfuric acid which leaves a trial of toxic pollution. Instead, if this very same job is done by a solid acid catalyst, at the manufacturing stage itself, then the resultant picture would be much more pleasant, clean and green. It is a clean and green technology, an eco-friendly process with zero effluents and eliminates the use of sulfuric acid which is a major environmental hazard. For Satyavati, it is an engineering challenge to keep the process a continuous one and if commercialized it would be first of its kind in the world and a major milestone for IICT. She uses a single column where the product is made and separated at the same place by using reactive distillation technique. A pilot plant has been set up costing more than 1 crore. Satyavati completed her PhD in chemical reaction engineering in 1997 from Osmania University. She is basically into reaction engineering, which includes designing of reactors, scaling up of reactors, process development, and studying the reactor kinetics. She got six patents, of which two are US patents, two European patents, and two Indian patents, awarded for her PhD work for improved process and a new catalyst. This is the first stage or the bent scale study where the strategy is to produce 100 grams of nitrotoluene per hour. What you actually see here is the bent scale setup for the continuous nitration of toluene using solid acid catalyst which has been developed at IICT. Now the unit essentially consists of a reboiler, a catalytic section, a liquid liquid separator and a condenser. The product is drawn withdrawn continuously from the reboiler whereas the aqueous layer is withdrawn from the top from the liquid liquid separator continuously. The feed is fed by using two dosing pumps uh, to the reactor. This is the second stage where the scale up of the bench scale studies is going on. This is also a prototype 
of the pilot plant reactor. This is a prototype of the pilot plant reactor and an intermediate stage between the lab scale studies and the pilot plant studies. And this is on a higher scale after the lab scale studies have been completed. This is a pilot plant located at IICT premises having a production capacity of 5 kgs per hour. It has distillation and crystallization units. These two processes are used for the separation of compounds. This is the pilot plant for the mononitrotoluenes project which is being sponsored by two major Indian industries. The capacity of the pilot plant is to produce 5 kgs per hour of the product and it is the penultimate stage before the process will be commercialized. This is a crystallizer. The final product of the process is a solid that is para nitrotoluene which is purified using this crystallizer. Nowhere in the world, except in India, this chemical process has reached the pilot plant stage. Elsewhere, it is still at the bench scale level. Once the highly innovative, dual active solid catalyst gets a clean chit, then it can dish out market friendly isomer mixture of nitrated compounds. What are the advantages of this particular process? IICT has developed a process for producing mononitrotoluenes using solid acid catalyst. This process is an eco-friendly process which eliminates completely the use of notorious sulfuric acid. IICT enjoys full confidence of the chemical industry by way of taking up several sponsored and consultancy projects. The intellectual property content in the broad areas of chemical, biological, engineering, technology and information faculties being high, IICT is experiencing a new surge in patenting activity. So far, it has a total number of 42 Indian patents and 50 foreign patents to its credit. Studies at IICT led to the discovery of gelozymes or enzymes immobilized in a gelatin matrix. Satyavati kept her thinking cap firmly on her head and thus came up with a novel porous membrane bioreactor with the help of gelozymes. Earlier, Satyavati developed and patented a new catalyst for the production of raw material for a VD site called Butachlor. In the field of environmental engineering, Satyavati has done biotreatability studies for the effective treatment of effluents from production plants for which she got four patents. You can see this unstoppable lady scientist always on her toes, constantly supervising the columns of the reactor. But at home, she switches her tracks and manages to spend some quality time with her little kids. In the office hours, I don't think about my home. The office hours are entirely for my profession. But as soon as I step out of the gate, of course, sometimes it is difficult when you are faced with some problem in your job. I switch off completely. I go to my home and I don't even remember office then. So I try to spend maximum time with my kids. What were those influencing factors that made her take up research in chemical technology? Actually, I was interested in medicine. My father wanted me to become an engineer, so I decided to honor his decision and go into this profession. I have fallen in love with my chemical engineering, and right now it is more of a passion for me than work. Does a scientist so engrossed in her work has any time for hobbies? I have a lot of hobbies, actually, because uh, I like a lot of activity. So, go for singing, dancing, and all those things, and then, a lot of activity involving kids etc also. So I like doing some sort of social work and going to all these crash committees etc. And moreover, I'm, I will, I'm involved in most of these activities involving kids because I like uh, spending time with kids and their naturalness and forgetting about things and all that. So I tend to go to orphanages etc and maybe help them out. The aim is to make people happy. 
In case you are already green with envy on seeing this young lady catalyst in trying to come out with some new green technologies, then you would better not because it's very unusual to find a lady scientist of Dr. Satyavati's caliber, especially in the field of chemical technology. She is definitely a lady with a conscience and we wish her luck, lots of luck in her future endeavors.